Artist Michael Kurzwelli has made a project of erasing the border between the German town of Frankfurt on the Oder and its Polish neighbor Słubice. I've been living here on the Polish-German border for 10 years. It's an especially interesting place because it takes just five minutes to change from one culture and language to another. With no border controls between Frankfurt and Słubice, thousands of people cross from one side to the other every day. But that's not good enough for Michael. He's combined Frankfurt and Słubice into a single city. It's called Swopfort and even has its own city wall and citizens. We issue a Swopfort identification card. There are already 400 Swopforters. That means 400 people have made a conscious decision to become Swopforters. The first place he recommends visiting is in Swobica, right next to the bridge. You don't need to speak Polish to get onto the roof of the Collegium Polonicum Research Institute. It's free of charge. And Michael Kurzweli likes it because it offers a fascinating view of the river Oder and both towns. Here I am on the roof of the Collegium Polonicum. The building stands right on the border. And I love this place because from here you realize that there really isn't any border here. Over on the Frankfurt side, tourists like to visit St. Mary's Church, which dates to the 13th century, and the balcony of the town library. It has the best view of the market and the town hall, which is among the oldest in Germany. Frankfurt has a university, the Viadrina. Young people from almost 80 countries study there. These also contribute to the town's character, the mass-produced apartment blocks built after World War II. The main attraction on the Swobica side is the bazaar, where people can find bargain basement prices for all kinds of household items. And that brings us to Michael's second recommendation, the restaurant Odra. Michael Kurzweli often meets up with friends here. The menu has many popular traditional Polish dishes, including pierogi, stuffed dumplings that resemble Italian ravioli, and bigosh, a hearty sauerkraut stew, all at moderate prices. Sitting here makes me want to eat zurek. Zurek is a famous Polish flour soup. I like to come to the Odra because it has really good Polish cuisine. The best way to get a feeling for Swobica is to take a little walk. And that's why Michael's third recommendation is a stroll through the town's residential neighborhoods. It's easy to compare Frankfurt and Swobica when you look at the courtyards, how different the conditions are that people live in, and how differently they use the space. These are Michael Kurzweli's recommendations. A walk through Swobica's residential neighborhoods, a meal at the restaurant Odra, and taking in the view from the roof of the Collegium Polonicum.